myself deshmukh sachin working as a assistant professor in the department of civil engineering of walchand institute of technology solapur today we are going to learn computation of gradual varied flow profile by using step method at the end of this session you will be able to understand what is the step method and how to calculate the length of the channel i just see the figures photographs we can observe here is a you can say it is a gradually varied flow what is a gradually varied it is defined as a steady non uniform flow in the channel in which there are gradual changes in the water depth now we can see here it is a steady and non uniform flow here also and particularly here also these three photographs of the rivers i have chosen where we can see it is a gvf that is a gradually varied flow the another is rapidly varied where we can say abrupt change of the different characteristics took place here gradual changes are there now in this take a control volume now to start this first of all just go through this figure a section is taken control section where you can say energy slope line is there water surface line is there and channel bottom is there here it is y1 that is above channel bottom up to water surface the depth is y1 y2 this is a you can say depth of water at section 1 depth of water at section 2 this is a kinetic head v1 square upon 2c here also the kinetic head now remember this figure we are going to calculate this delta x that is the length length of this particular channel this control section if the flow condition on either side of length delta x to be computed this method is generally adopted in the figure a short reach of the channel length delta x is considered now by applying bernoulli's theorem to section 11 and section 22 here you can see s0 delta x y1 and v1 square upon 2c here sfm f is you can say average because energy line is fluctuating so sf1 sf2 sf3 different slopes may occur so we have to take average of that that is sfm delta x it is a vertical line divided by dx is equal to y by x from that we can calculate this also and this also okay so addition of this equal to addition of remaining on the second section s0 delta x plus y1 plus v1 square upon 2g is equal to y2 plus v2 square upon 2g plus sfm delta x so sfm it is average mean slope of the energy line which is equal to sf1 plus sf2 upon 2 now put this value what is it y2 plus v2 square upon 2g and y1 plus v1 square upon 2g are nothing but the specific energies specific energies where we are not going to take the datum we are directly taking this y value or uh, this is the depth of water plus kinetic head so delta x is we are getting s2 minus es1 specific energy at section 2 minus specific energy at section 1 upon s0 minus sfm now sfm is sf1 plus sf2 upon 2 thus if the whole channel is split into such short steps because it's a uh, length is bigger one it's a huge length is there 
So you can split it into short steps and the length delta x for the each step is determined starting from the control section by using the above equation that is s2 minus s1 upon s0 minus sfm. The, uh, we can find out the length. The accuracy of this method depends upon the depth of the increment selected and for better accuracy the values of sfm at the end of the step should not vary ap appreciably. This method is used for prismatic channel that is particularly uh, slope is and uh, the cross section is same. Uh, along with this there are some other methods geometric method is there, arithmetic method is there, uh, graphical method is there. But this method is particularly uh, which is more accurate than the other methods. Now uh, we will solve one problem on this step method so that we will come to know how we can find out the length. It is a problem a rectangular channel carrying a discharge of 30 meter cube per second has a width of 10 meter and a bed slope of 1 in 5625 and Manning's n as 0 0.02. At a particular section the depth of the flow is 1.6 meter. Determine how far upstream or downstream of the section the depth of flow will be 2 meter. Use step method and take 2 steps. You, we can go for 3 steps, we can go for 4 steps, we can go for many steps to get more accuracy. Now putting these values, putting these values, okay, normal depth is 2.97 and critical depth is 0.97. Since normal depth is greater than critical depth, it is a mild surface profile and uh, y0 that is normal depth is greater than uh, actual depth and which is greater than critical depth this is the m2 type of profile we can say it is a drawdown curve see here 2.97 is greater than 2 which is greater than 1.6 2.97 which is greater than 2 meter which is greater than 1.6 meter so uh, it is a m2 type of profile uh, m, sorry, it is uh, critical depth is 0 0.97, 0 0.97, and uh, section is from 1.6 meter to 2 meter. Now this is a section given to us. Now this section we are now uh, uh, we are going to find out this length of this section that is from 1.6 meter to 2 meter by step method. Now uh, particularly um, from my point of view, uh, if we can solve this uh, step method by uh, making observation table clearly and putting the values in the appropriate column uh, we can we can get easily or it is a simple method i can say just see here uh, from serial number two depth of the flow then area of the section mean velocity velocity head specific energy hydraulic radius then slope then mean slope then delta es etc etc up to uh, delta L, uh, delta x that is a total length if you can uh, for, uh, go through this observation table one by one then it is very easy now 1.6 meter that is again I will show you it is 1.6 meter to 2 meter we have to travel and uh, they ask us to go uh, use the two steps take two steps so 1.6 to 1.8 meter and from 1.8 to 2 meter these are the two steps which I have taken see here 1.6 to 1.8 meter and 1.8 to 2 meters this is just one step and this is the another step Okay, now uh, area of the section that is uh, uh, 10 meter that uh, wide, so 1.6 into 10 that is 16, 1.8 into 10, 18, 2 into 10, 20. Like this, velocity V is equal to Q upon A, if we have calculated this one, then velocity head or kinetic head that is V square upon 2G. Specific energy is nothing but the depth of water plus kinetic head, this we have calculated. Then hydraulic radius R is equal to A by P, area upon weighted perimeter that is calculated 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.21, 1.32 uh, sorry and 1.43 uh, is hydraulic radius. Then slope of energy line. Now this particular column just concentrate on this, how it comes, SF is equal to n square v square r s to 4 by 3. Just now we have studied the Manning's formula v is equal to 1 upon n 
r raised to two third and s raised to half. From this formula, this SF is equal to n square v square up, uh, upon r raised to, uh, to uh, 4 by 3. This comes, this comes from Manning's formula. Then mean slope, uh, this uh, we are going to take this slope first of and average of these two here and average of these two here. Then ES2 minus ES1, find out ES2 minus ES1, it is 0 0.162, 0 0.173. SFM minus SF F uh, SFM minus S F zero these values and finally delta X is equal to ES2 minus ES1 that is here upon SF minus SFM delta X it is 1345 meters. Like this we can go for any channel section. These are the questions. Just go through these questions, objective type of questions. These are the answers for these questions. And you can refer many books and some papers are there on Google that you can search. Thank you.